welcome to the 11 day of Christmas DIYs and today we are making simple gift bags. It is very simple hack but they look nicer and more festive. So if you have just a few minutes of your time, you will need simple organza bags. You can buy them in any DIY or gift shops. Red is a Christmas color and they are just like simple with uh, lace that you just pull. So they look like this. And we will do two of them today because we do everything in pair. And you will need a shape that you want to stick on it. So we will make a shape that we will glue then on these little uh, bags. And the shape I have chosen is heart, golden heart, because gold and red is one of my favorite combinations for Christmas. But you can also choose like a Christmas tree shape whatever shape you want. You can make those shapes from paper, but I do not advise that because you want these bags to last. So you do kind of want these bags to stay after the Christmas. If you give some jewelry in them, you just want them to keep things in them. They are very handy for traveling too. So you should make like the shapes from something lasting. And uh, I will be using faux leather today. I already made the cutouts of the hearts. I was using faux leather from my old like bag when I was small. So the bag was like golden faux leather. And as you can see, like the the outside is like you can see it's a faux leather because it's just the material, you know. You can use precise shapes to cut out the heart or the Christmas tree, but I just use my pencil and just draw heart on a piece of leather on the outside and I just cut it out. So this is how they look like. I will zoom it for you. They're very shiny golden and I think it goes very nice with red. And they have like some kind of pattern on them. So yeah, you just need that and you just need your bags and scissors to cut them and the glue to glue them on the bag. So it will be looking like this. And my advice is to glue them like lower, not higher. Because depending on what you're going to put in them, if you glue it higher and you just close the bag, you see what happens. So just when you close the bag, glue it on a part that stays like flat. So glue it on the lower part. And the glue we will be using is super glue. I will explain why. If you use this paper glue, the paper glue is very watery, you know, and it will go to organza because this is like transparent, you see, on the other side, which is not good. So you just use some kind of gel glue and just keep it open, like carefully glue it. You use a very small amount of glue and just carefully glue it. We'll be using this one, Loctite Super Bond Gel Gel. I love this one because it's really jelly, you know, and it doesn't spill over. Be careful with your hands and nails and just it gets really messy. The super glues are just deadly hard to take off with warm water if you do if you have to. So you just put a small amount, like on the middle. No need to put the, the glue on the whole surface of the shape. And you do that on both of them. And then you just open your bag, put your hand in it, and put the heart on it. Like this. And squeeze it a little bit. How they look like they're not dry yet, and don't, don't do this to them. That will be a fun thing to do. But see, when you close them, the heart stays. So that was the goal. And if you want, you can close it like this while they dry because then there is more space in it, there is more air. And just let them dry like that. This is how they look like now when they're done. I like that it's not glued in the whole surface, so it's like a little bit floating on a bag. If you like, you can glue the whole surface. But yeah, this is the end look. And you can do this with as many bags as you want. This is also a good wedding ID. Or you can keep candies in it, your jewelry. If you are like a perfectionist like I am and you want all your jewelry to look the same, to be packaged the same, you just make like 20, 30 of these and just stack them like this 
and they look like super cute. It looks super tight, these. And Dragon's bags are feel very nice, you know, it's like a nice feeling to just touch them. You can buy these bags also in like large size, so you can package your Christmas gifts in them and you can just decorate them as you want. You can make the whole decoration pattern on your bag, so that would be also great. But this is just a little ID that will take only a few minutes of your time and it looks super cute and super tidy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow on the 12th day of Christmas DIYs. All my contact information and social networks are in the description down below where you can find me. My other channels, travel and uh, my motivation educational channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these Christmas DIYs as we are approaching Christmas. And see you tomorrow. Stay safe and sound and find your inner ground. Bye!